Welcome back. My next guest uh, writes uh, the online comedy column, Ruminations. Please welcome Aaron Cairo, everybody. Aaron Cairo. So I'm 29, but I still won't admit that I have any feelings for a girl because I'm afraid my friends will make fun of me. <laughs> like, I'll be talking to a buddy. I'll be like, hey, man, you know that girl I've been hooking up with? Yeah, she's actually pretty cool. I was thinking about maybe giving her a call, seeing if she wanted to go to the park or something. And my buddy's like, oh, so you love her. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, you're taking her to the park. Obviously, you love her. You don't take someone to the park unless you're in love with them. k Rose in love. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. He's like, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay that you love her. It's cute that you love her. You love her. Admit that you love her. Just admit that you love her right now. I'm like, no, fine. I won't call her. I hate her. She's stupid. <laughs> My boys from New York will visit me out here in L.A. a lot, and I've noticed that when chicks fly in to visit each other for the weekend, they don't go out that first night. They're like, oh, the girls are tired from flying. <laughs> We're just gonna stay in. Catch up. When my boys fly in for the weekend, they show up wasted and ready to go. <laughs> I open the door when they get to my apartment and they're like, we're not allowed on JetBlue anymore. <laughs> my buddies routinely call me up like, Cairo, you have to come to this bar, dude there's a 25% chance there may be cute chicks there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dude, I have the flu. We got a funeral at eight o'clock in the morning. It's pouring outside. I'll be there in 20 minutes. <laughs> Girls call, it, call their friends like, Lisa, you have to come to this party. There's definitely gonna be a ton of cute boys there. And it's open bar. And we'll pick you up. I don't know. I'm wearing really comfy sweatpants. What is it about an elastic waistband that is such an obstacle for chicks to leave the house? Lisa, we gotta go, the building's on fire, we have to evacuate, but I'm wearing these sweatpants. I'm on the couch, Gray's is on. So a lot of my buddies make booty calls. Not me. About 2 a.m., I just send 10 girls text messages <laughs> that just say, hey. <laughs> Hope someone responds. Now, guys, here's a tip. If you're texting with a girl and she gets offended, don't worry. You can always get out of it. If you're like, hey, what's up? Want to come over? And she's like, ew, no way, jerk. All you have to do is write back, so sorry, my buddy stole my phone. <laughs> he was messing around. I didn't write that. I do it all the time. <laughs> now, if you really want to get sophisticated, here's a method that I use to sort of disguise my booty texting. I'll write a message that doesn't really make any sense. Like, hey, can you pick up some eggs and milk? and then send it to the girl I'm targeting. She'll read it and respond, did you mean to send this to me? And then I'll write back, oh no, I must have hit the wrong button. So what are you up to tonight? <laughs> Boom, I'm in and she doesn't even know what the hell just happened. <laughs> but I do think it's always important to know where you stand in a relationship. Like let's say I was seeing a girl for like six months. And then all of a sudden, we found ourselves stranded on a deserted island, and these crazy, violent, savage natives attacked us and captured us and tied us up and started threatening me like, we're going to kill your girlfriend. I'd be like, whoa, whoa, please, please, listen, just calm down. First of all, she's not my girlfriend. <laughs> okay, we definitely never had that conversation. I mean, listen, she's cool and everything, but and the native's like, oh, so you love her. Thank you very much. Thank you.